Welcome back to PokePaint, the series where I create locations, concepts, and most importantly, new Pokemon for a hypothetical region based on New England, Colonial. After last time, when we had our battle for the Harvest Badge, we returned to Culturepality City. In this time, we turn to the wilds of the north of Colonial. Here on Route 11, we come to a rainy path surrounded on all sides by pine trees and marshland grasses. The further north we go, the more and more wet it gets until we are forced to use the bike to make it through the thickening bogs. Here we can find the Pokemon Amphiboly, Nudimander, Pyrotine, and our two newest Coloniar Pokemon. Deaver. The beaver Pokemon, water type. Deaver live in rivers and on the shores of lakes. They love the rain because of their ability Hydro Dam, which allows for their attack stat to raise for every turn rain occurs in battle. They build dams where they live, and due to this fact, they have a tendency to dry out marshlands or riverbeds. And secondly, the evolved form of Diva and the water rock type Beavadam. The Dam Pokemon. Beavadam use their shovel like tails to build their dams. Upon evolving, every Beavadam learns a new move Dam Slam, a base 50 move. With this attack, if it were struck by a water type move during the last turn, the power of the move will increase by that move's damage. Alongside Deaver and Beavadam, here in the marshlands can also be found Pashel, the painted turtle Pokemon. This species is well known for how poorly they do in battle, often withdrawing into their shell in fear that they will be attacked. Although often very docile in this way, a good trainer can bring out the fighting spirit in them. Because of this, Peshel often have the ability Wimp Out. To be completely honest, this Pokemon wasn't planned at all. For context, I usually plan out the Pokemon that I need for each video in advance, but when I went to write the script, I remembered how common painted turtles are, and I had a vivid image in my head of what I wanted a painted turtle Pokemon to look like. So with a little bit of debate, I decided to go with it. Its name is a play on pastel paint and shell. Pashel. And now for its second evolution, Turtalit, the evolved form of Pashel. Turtalit are excellent in battle. Due to their abnormally high defense and special defense stats, they can tank most hits. Turtalit will often have the ability Sturdy or Thick Fat. For Turtalit, I really had no design ideas in my head, but I ended up with something I think I quite like. Oh, only time will tell, I guess. You can see here, at the end, I changed up the shell color for the whole line 
and I think it honestly looks a little better that way. The name Turtalet comes from turtle and palette. As we continue north, the rain fades and the marshlands slowly break apart until we are in the middle of a wide open lake. We have arrived at the deep lake of Coloniar. The waters are glassy still, and the sun can be seen reflected in it. As well, the ambiance is nearly silent, but for the chirps of far off cricketot that are often broken by a single high cry the cry of our next Coloniar Pokemon. Siloon, the Wailing Pokemon, a psychic and flying type. Siloon only appear in the dusk and dawn when the water is still. Its call is famous for being enchanting yet haunting. It uses its call to hypnotize its prey. Because of this, this beautiful Pokemon can often be a dangerous one. Alongside Peshel and Turtalet, this was another unplanned Pokemon, but I'm glad I went through with doing it. As many of you might have guessed, the Deep Lake of Coloniar is based on Lake Winnipesaukee of New Hampshire. When I was a kid, my family had a lake house up north on a lake near there. Sadly, not anymore. However, one of my earliest memories is hearing the beautiful call of a loon in the early morning on a silent and still lake. For this reason, it was my late grandmother's second favorite animal. And for that reason, I thought I needed to include one. In the waters of the deep lake can be found Weasel, Beavidam, Basculin, Pashel, and Silent. Although, there are also rumors of a sixth Pokemon species living deep in the lake. On the northern shore of the lake can be found the Harbor Town, based on many of the small towns on Lake Winnipesaukee, in particular, Wolfboro. You have come to Harabesh Town, from the words harbor and fresh water. Here there is a boardwalk, and on the docks there are many log homes. It seems strikingly familiar in architecture to Fronterton Town, the hometown from way back at the beginning of our journey. We are back in that area of the world, the frontier of the north of Coloniar. But you have bigger fish to fry, literally because the gym in town is a water-type gym. Here, the gym trainers are equipped with Pokemon like Deaver, Basculin, Turtalet, Buizel, and Amphibolip. The gym puzzle is a log puzzle, sort of similar to the one in Pastoratia Gym in Pokemon Platinum. Where in the gym, you have to find a way through a moat maze, raising and lowering log bridges that act like dams when lowered. When you get to the podium, an old man greets you and tells you that the gym leader isn't there. He's been gone for weeks and the townsfolk think that he might be out in the lake somewhere, but no one knows for sure. He equips you with a rebreather to dive into the lake and begs you to go find him. So you do exactly that. In places where the water sparkles, you can dive into the deep lake and explore the lake bed. Here, you can find the Pokemon Thundral, Relicant, Basculin, and Whiskash. Along the underwater canyons and crevices of the bottom of the lake can be found many caves. If you explore these, you'll find that one is more expansive than the others. And like a beaver dam, it has a cavernous system filled with air. At the back of these caverns is a striking sight, a submarinean battle club. And there, in the middle of it all, is gym leader Zale. He explains that he founded this club after stumbling upon it during a diving trip, and that he founded a secret club here for his fans. You give him the message to return to the old man, and he agrees to return if you can beat him in a gym battle. Gym leader Zale starts by sending out a Beavidan at level 41 with the ability Hydro Dam in the moveset Aqua Tail, Rain Dance, Dam Slam, and Ice Bang. If you can defeat this immovable Pokemon, you must face his next, a level 41 Thundral with the ability Static in the moveset Thunder, Wrap, Thunderfang, and Hydro Pump. 
His next Pokemon is a big shock to all, the mystery of the lake bed, a level 42 Norlass. With the ability Swift Swim and the moves Ice Beam, Sing, Surf, and Hydro Pump. If you can bring down this legend of a Pokemon, you will have one more to go. Zale's Ace, a level 43 Samurott. With the ability Torrent, armed with a Mega Stone, you must deal with his Mega Samurott. With the moveset Aqua Tail, Slash, Smart Strike, and Scald. If you manage to defeat his team of water Pokemon, he will return to his gym in Harabish Town, where you learn that the old man was Zale's father, the previous but retired gym leader of the town. There, they both present to you the Depth Badge. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for a future Pokemon idea, then please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, and want to see more, then turn on the bell to get notified when I upload next.